So in this video, we'll be discussing about a very important phenomenon and uh, in fire and that is belief. It is basically for much more concerned about where boiler is present and where in, on tanker ships. And this phenomenon uh, is unique in itself. We are going to see all the pros and cons and it is often asked by surveyor in your safety. And that is a, uh, about boiling liquid expanding vapor explosion, that is belief. Okay, so whenever we talk about belief, so belief is nothing, uh, but it occurs when the pressurized liquid inside a vessel such as propane tank reaches temperature. So don't confine yourself with a propane tank. At the end, I'll be telling you some other places as well. Reaches temperature higher than that liquid's boiling point. So when the temperature goes beyond even the liquid's boiling point, if the vessel can no longer contain now, that will that liquid will be in a container and if the mechanical failure occurs, so it is basically the basic reason is about the mechanical failure, the root cause analysis. The vessel can no longer contain the pressure inside of that sealed tank due to the high temperature, it will mechanically fail causing the explosion whether or not a fire occur in uh, contingent on if the liquid inside the tank is flammable see if the liquid inside the tank will be flammable so then fire will occur and if it is not flammable if in case of a boiler so boiler there uh, uh, this liquid is not flammable only explosion will happen because of steam Fire will occur. If the vessel containing non-flammable liquids such as steam, boiler, a belief will occur, but the vapor will not ignite because that is water. Okay, but in if you talk about propane tank, that is flammable. So here, after explosion, there will be a fire and there will be a chances of fire. Heat does not have to be present for a belief to occur. Remember this. Mechanical damage or overfilling can also cause the vessel to explode. A second belief can occur if the vessel releases combustible vapor into an area where it then mixes with air in the presence of a source of ignition okay then the explosion can stress the heated vessel and cause it to rupture resulting in an explosion of the vapor okay so the secondary belief will also occur so what are probable cause for the tank structure failure that is the main reason for a belief to occur so improper maintenance of tanks we have corrosion of the tank structure the relief valve of the tank is malfunction or it is stuck mechanical damage to the tank material failure tank structure severely exposed to flame or fire okay now there are phases of belief uh, as i told you in the nutshell that uh, that secondary belief so failure of tank hold tank failure may be due to different reason which may lead to an increase in the internal pressure and failure of the weakest part of the tank so because of the internal failure the first the weak part will uh, um, because uh, that will that will cause the rupture phase transition there is a phase transition as the tank structure fail a sudden depressurization of the liquefied gas will occur the liquid vapor mixture which was in a thermodynamic saturated state with a higher temperature than its boiling point will become superheated as the original tank hold pressure decreases to atmospheric pressure in few milliseconds. It takes a very little time. Splashing of liquid vapor uh, mixture. As the temperature is above superheated uh, limit uh, temperature, that is SLT, fast bubble nucleation will initiate inside the tank leading to a violent splashing of liquid vapor mixture out of the vessel into the atmosphere. Explosion. As the depressurization occurs along with an intense phase transition in the superheated state, the boiling of the liquid followed by bubble nucleation will together lead to an explosion. So these are probable. The, what are the warning signs that we have? A ringing sound from the metal shell, discoloration of the tank structure, flaking of small metal pieces, bubble or bulge on the tank's surface and a sudden increase in tank pressure. So there, will, there are uh, there are mountings on the tank. In fact, mm. okay. Now, what are the precautions we can take to avoid this belief? So this condition of belief can be avoided by maintenance of the cargo tank at regular interval. So we are supposed to do the maintenance 
relief valve to be functional at all the time we have relief valve on the tank the size of the relief valve to be fitted should be as per the international gas code igc code i guess you all are aware of it Incor incorporating a sort of vent mechanism to let vapors eject directly up into the atmosphere okay so there is a vent there can be a vent mechanism altogether which can directly lead it to the atmosphere if that vent mechan it, it doesn't lead to the atmosphere there has to be a secondary enclosure so you can study about the tank structure okay permeable semi permeable what are these if the vapor is not able to eject straight up the pressurized vessel should be kept in an enclosure that will contain any explosion pressure and control the blast so emergency preparedness of all ship staff during the gas cargo transfer avoid cargo general cargo stores compressed gas operation with the vicinity of gas cargo operation no oil or fuel bunkering operation should be carried out during or before the cargo operation keep checking the mooring lines to ensure the ship is well fastened to the pier or dock all lp uh, lpg lp gas detector shall be readily available for use at the birth so these are some precautionary measure, measures that we are supposed to take uh, for this condition of the bleave to happen so bleave was what was it was basically it was boiling liquid expanding vapor explosion it occurs when pressurized liquid inside a vessel such as propane tank reaches a temperature higher than that liquid's boiling point and if vessel can't sustain pressure it will mechanically fail and that will cause the explosion okay if liquid is flammable fire will occur if non flammable like boiler steam will explode but that will cause no fire heat need not be present for bleave to occur mechanical damage and overfilling can also cause bleave so we are supposed to fill the tank in a very uh, structured manner that is also very important so if you say this much i think the surveyor will be happy and he will pass you thank you so much